everybody, it's Anne here from positivelypapercraft.co.uk and I'm back again with another tutorial. Today what we're going to make is a kind of accordion um, mini album that is actually going to close like in a box in itself. Now I've seen some of these around but not where they actually close into a box. I've seen ones where they have like a little book around them or they just kind of fold up into a card. And how this came about was one of my followers, um, a lady, a lovely lady called Pat, um, Pat Powell, had um, sent me a photograph of something that she made and she said that you know she thought I could maybe try it because she hadn't seen any of them before and I haven't not where they're in like a, a little box and she didn't send dimensions or anything just the photograph of hers which was beautiful so I thought I would give it a try so obviously the measurements might be different from what Pat made it because this is just what I came up with um, my own measurements so as it's the first today I'm allowed to show you inside because we are going to use some of this beautiful paper which is called Nature's Poem and it is on page 142 and it's like a kind of sweet there's a beautiful stamp set some um, framelits and whatnot and also that's the gorgeous paper um, and you can get little embellishments and twine and things like that so it's really pretty so that's what we're going to use so for this you are going to need <clears throat> um, you're going to need three pieces of air uh, whisper white which are six by eight and one quarter and you're going to need one piece which is six by eight okay now these are going to be for your kind of accordion pieces and you're going to score, well we'll get that in a minute, then I've already cut out the paper and these are going to be what my photographs would sit on. So they need to measure um, 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths and I've made a fancy corner on mine and I just use this X cut corner rounder, um, it's a double corner rounder. Um, I've got a piece of scrap here so you would just pop it in there to round them normally but then there's also a little piece in there where it gives you that little corner because I've had a few people say they didn't understand how I'd done it but I think I got mine off Amazon or eBay um, but that's how I've done that so you will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or should there be eight there? Seven or eight, two, four. Yeah, you'll need eight pieces, which are two and sorry, three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've cut haven't cut one, but I've got it's what that's what this bit must be here okay and then for your box base and box lid I'm using tranquil tide and the both need to measure 10 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8 okay so we're going to do our little accordion pieces first so you have one piece which is smaller which is 6 by 8 okay that bit you just need to score in the middle at four inches okay the other three pieces you want to score in the middle at four and then you want to score again at eight so you will have two score lines and these little score lines and um, here is where we are going to join it together okay so i'm going to take this as the first piece and I would pop one of my pieces of DSP on so I'm just gonna probably do one of these and then just join them up and stick the paper on um, off camera or fast forward I think it's such a lovely idea plus the good thing is 
it actually stores your large photographs like 4x6 or just under 4x6 so you can see there that would my first photo would sit on there and then I'm just using the reverse of the paper just kind of following in that pattern okay so you'll obviously do this to all of your uh, pieces of whisper white or however you want to decorate them okay and then we'll take another piece and then obviously you can see there that that is going to join onto there okay so I would put some tape or glue down there Okay, and I'm just going to fold that as well before I stick it together. And then again that will go on and join to the next piece so that will get stuck on to here. So we'll just take the backing off. and we will attach this on to here okay and that's how I'm joining mine up and then the and we want the other <clears throat> the other piece and I'm just going to fold this first another piece of tape down there okay and then we can peel the backing off this one Attach this one as well. Okay, and then the last one is the one that doesn't have the little score line because this is going to get stuck into our box um, base. So we would stick this on here. So another piece of tape And then our last one will go on here. Okay. And that's what you will end up with. Okay, so it will fold out, fold round like that. Okay, so this piece and this piece are going to get stuck. That's going to get stuck into... Um, the lid of our box and that will be stuck into the base so when you kind of open it you'll have like an accordion album but it will be in its own box which I think is a really nice idea so I'm going to carry on and stick my 
um, pieces of DSP on. Okay, so I think I will stick all them on and I will come back when I've done it all. Okay everyone, there we go. So that is what you should have, all right? So that will fold up like that, all right? And I suppose you could do the back if you wanted to. I'm not going to, I'm just going to concentrate on having the front done. So we're going to move on to our little boxes. Now, they both measure the same. So we're going to score them in both the same way. Well, slightly the same way. So let's just take the first one, which for example will be, um, let me see, this will be the, the lid, okay? So what we're going to do is just score all four sides at one and two inches. So it's pretty simple because it's going to be reinforced, okay? So one and two just keep doing that all the way around on all four sides okay so you should end up with that and then this one is going to be the same Obviously we need to make it a little bit smaller, okay? So we're just gonna slightly move it off the end of the scoreboard, just a whisper really, and then score at one and two. So again, just slightly move it over. And again, just slightly move it. And again, slightly move. Because obviously this will be the base which needs to be a little bit smaller than the lid. Okay. So I'm going to put that bit aside because I know that's the base. <clears throat> so this will be the lid. And we're going to fold and burnish. And I have done lots of the reinforced boxes so it's just the same as what I've done before. Alright, so what we're going to do is take our scissors and we've got four squares in every corner. We're going to cut up so we've got our four squares. We're going to chop off these two bottom squares so we have that and then we're going to remove this end square but I'm just going to slightly might it in the sides like that and this bit here and just a tiny bit off there so you just need to repeat that okay on all of the four corners and you will do this with the other piece as well with what will be the base Okay, so I'm going to turn it all the way around and I'm going to repeat that again. This would make a lovely um, gift for a christening or a wedding. Just depends on how you decorate it, I suppose. We've got some lovely new kind of baby and children papers in the new catalogue.
well we've got gorgeous new everything really it's beautiful absolutely beautiful all right so that's what you should have so we need adhesive on all four of the tabs turn it round and then we need adhesive on all four of these longer pieces um, so I think I'm just going to use some Tombow so I want some on these okay and I'm just going to glue that to there So with this being the lid, what will happen is this will get stuck into here, okay? So that when it closes onto our smaller base, okay, that's the idea. It'll kind of, we've got this in its own little box, which I think is really cool. So I think we can just stick them in at the end so we're going to put the other piece together which is exactly the same but yeah as i said i have seen these but i haven't seen any that sit in the own little box which i think is a really nice idea so thank you to pat for that Same again. There we go, so now we've got our base, so with a bit of luck, I'm just going to take that out of there. What should happen is that should fit over. That should fit in there, sorry I mean. There we go. It is tight, but I suppose you don't want it slack. But I tell you what, we can do. I think it would be easier if we punched some little finger holes in the side of there. So I've got a three-quarter inch punch. No, that won't fit. I probably should have done it before, but we can. And I don't even know if this will go through. It just helps you get your fingers in really. I mean obviously because it's reinforced as well, the lid and the base. It's um it's really thick. It does go. So what we can do is get this off. And we can glue our two pieces in. It was just the dog. So, which is the base again? Yeah, this is. Is that right? This is the lid. Yeah. So this is. 
so that is going to go in there so I think I might just glue mine in actually so I'm going to put glue all the way along there okay and we're going to glue this in to our base have to do is open it out a little bit just stick it in that way so I need some more glue on here glued into there. Yeah, I like this, really like it, it's gorgeous. There we go, so when it, obviously when we open it, it's got its own little box attached which I think is brilliant. So what we're going to do is a little bit of decorating. I'll get the thing closed. Okay. Okay, everyone, so to decorate it, I'm going to use this Make a Difference stamp set. And I was just going to try and stamp on like spell out memories and um, I've also cut out one of these gorgeous this gorgeous flourish which I'm going to stick here and I'm probably going to have the sentiment somewhere up there and that is from the springtime impressions so I've got some whisper white and I've got the little stamps ready so that's the M and I'm just gonna well try and stamp them a straight line and probably cut them out with um, one of these stitched ovals maybe. So I've got Tranquil Tide. Obviously I need to leave some room to cut it out. So that's M. There we go, that doesn't look too bad actually, does it? Memories. So I just need to quickly go and find a framelit that fits. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I found a, the largest stitched framelit and what I did as well was you get another cute little stamp in with um, the Make a Difference, which is this one here. And all I did was I just stamped around it and I think that looks really pretty. So that is going to go on there and I've just popped some dimensionals on the back. And as I said, I think this makes an absolutely gorgeous gift. I mean, you can embellish it a lot more if you want, even inside and stuff. It's entirely up to you. So that's that on there. And then you also get, what have I done with it? You get a really cute little stamp which is made with love. 
and I'm just going to stamp that on to a bit of the whisk white with the Tranquil Tide and I'm going to stick that onto the back so made with love it's just going to go there you see that and then I've got the one and one eighth is it yep the one and one eighth scallop circle I'll just punch that out and I'm just going to pop a bit of Tombow on and I'm just going to glue that onto the bottom yeah, sorry everyone, the battery ran out, so I'd stuck the Made With Love with some glue on the back and I just stuck a little bow on the front and there we go, I think that's absolutely beautiful and it just opens up and it reveals all our accordion mats to pop your photos on so you can get some really big photographs on here So. And then it's all encased in its own little box, which I think is brilliant. So there we go. All the info will be on my blog and I will be back again next Wednesday um, with some more tutorials. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.